is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I have got another money method for you guys. You know I am trying to get as much money as possible and in return I'm also trying to help you guys try and get as much money as possible before that summer update. Today we have a money method in Valentine but it is a big one. In the previous methods we are mainly focusing on one location. Sometimes delving into other locations. This one is by far the longest route we have ever done in Red Dead Online and that's because I feel like the longer routes end up giving more time to go hunting which then in return you end up making even more money but we are still looking at dynamic events as well in this one we have seven different dynamic events but before you want to get into the method make sure that you spawn in tumbleweed and then go and fast travel to Valentine I always say this but it ends up helping you massively when you spawn in tumbleweed that is where the majority of the players in that lobby will be located once you go and fast travel out of tumbleweed and go to a completely different area like valentine once you get to valentine there will be hardly any other players there once i get into valentine i also go and turn on my defensive play style that way it is extremely hard for anyone to grudge me it's still possible you can still die on defensive mode but by taking all these steps it makes it a lot harder anyway once you get into valentine these are the different locations that you want to go to this is the route that i have drawn up for you guys to go and do to go and get all the different dynamic events once you go dynamic event to dynamic event make sure that you are hunting in between each one always take your time take your time whilst you are doing these routes that is how you are going to make the most money if you are traveling on the way to a dynamic event and you see an animal definitely go and kill it go and chase after it do whatever just try it and kill it store it in your satchel or store it on the back of your horse do not just let it go just because you think it's too far away take a quick detour if you have to to go and get one of these animals because in the long run it will be all adding up and making you a lot of money once you get into a dynamic event make sure that you are waiting for the last 30 seconds before you go and complete that event whilst you are waiting for that timer to go down for the event you are hunting constantly throughout this whole event the good thing about being in valentine and shrubbery and the main reason why i wanted to do a route in this area is because there are a lot of different fishing locations which can be stored in your satchel but on top of that you can get a lot of different pro horn barked boars and also deers in this location which means all you have to do is go and kill them skin them and store that on the back of your horse and you can then still have the stranger the NPC from the dynamic event still sitting on the back of your horse with no problems whatsoever if you do come across an animal like an elk this is where you can make a choice or even put an animal's carcass on the back of your horse you can have a choice because the stranger will follow you no matter what whether or not they are able to jump on the back of the horse with you or if they're not able to go on the back of the horse they will still follow you if you go at a decent pace if you go and sprint off with your horse they're never going to be able to keep up with you but depending on how far away you are from the yellow zone the yellow cursor on your map where you have to go and hand in that stranger you can actually just put an animal carcass or an animal hide anything like that on the back of your horse and just guide the stranger to that yellow location yet again still making sure that you go and hand them in in the last 30 seconds if you get too close the stranger will just run to the yellow area but you can avoid that by just staying a certain distance away as always take your time with it make sure that you are taking as much time as possible without actually failing anything because if you fail it you're going to be making nothing out of these dynamic events just make sure it's the last 30 seconds make sure it's safe and then go and complete the dynamic event and all the time you are hunting throughout everything i keep on saying that the important thing is to hunt throughout this whole route if you go to one of these locations where a dynamic event is supposed to trigger and it does not trigger that is perfectly fine just make your way all the way round to the next event sometimes you may be very unlucky and go two or three in a row where you do not get an event triggered some of you might be very lucky when you go through this and you go and get the first three or four of these dynamic events in a row it's one of those not every time they trigger it is a random thing but since i've been doing this money route which has been the last two days i have have not had any less than three of these dynamic events and I would say you're extremely unlucky if you go and get less than three or even one if you get one or zero you are incredibly extremely unlucky with this money route if you go through this whole route and not a single one spawns in or gets triggered just back out the lobby and go into the lobby again spawn in tumbleweed fast travel to this location and then try the route again that should actually solve it some lobbies that you go into are better than others but anyway guys
realized that is the money method that I have been using over the past couple of days, maybe like day and a half, and it has been making me a lot of money. We are doing very well for money. Might even be able to go and hit that 20k mark before the summer update drops. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.